YouTube, Mark Kaufman here. I am trying to knock out a few videos today and I've prepped myself a nice cup of coffee. And to start this off, I'm going to dedicate this video to Knife Detector here on YouTube. And I want to thank him for the inspiration he is to me for hunting for little bargain knives and noticing knives that most people may not think are special, but you find that spark and interest in your heart to buy. So knife detector, this video is for you. And this is the knife I will be talking about. Now, this knife here, I picked up on eBay for $12, okay, $12. And I picked that up for $12 with free shipping. So it was quite the steal. I, when I saw this in the description, um, sometimes on eBay, you can have the description um, with photos. Saw that in the description photos and I saw it on the, the um, main photos. I thought this knife was going to be like this big. Ended up being like that big. So let's see how big this is. Here is a standard Kershaw blur. Okay, so there we go and a lot of people have asked me you know look i don't have that knife i don't have um i don't have this knife you know um look can you use a little more of a universal sized object for your size reviews so here is a standard slightly sharpened pencil and let me see what else i could possibly use do, 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 do. don't have a battery on me but i'm going to try and get a spent battery to use as a comparison and then we will also compare this thing to a standard 91 millimeter spartan not spartan explorer so that is the size of this knife let me get all of these out of the way here and start talking about this knife so why did i pick this knife up well i mean it's a good looking little camp knife i thought it was going to be a little camp knife but not to my dismay but to my pleasure it actually ended up being a lot bigger than i expected and this knife is a maxim knife the reverse tang stamp's kind of funny but this is manufactured in china national headquarters usa and i love that they put usa nice and big they even changed the stamping for that to be a little thicker than the rest of it and so i actually saw the usa and i thought oh it must be a usa manufactured knife so you know it kind of got me there but the pictures weren't all that great either so it is a i'm going to guess a 400 series stainless steel which is fine especially for a camp knife and let's just see how big this front spear point blade is or spear master blade is so here is your kershaw blur okay and then here is our standard 91 millimeter victorinox and i am going to turn the light down just a little bit so that is what we are looking at here. That is a sizable blade, I, I think, for a camp knife. And you know what? I'm happy about that because it's going to be able to take care of a lot of jobs. The spring tension on here is not that strong, but it's much better than a few Rough Riders that I've had. So I'm a little happy about that. So there's that closed. And then we've got the pen blade. So the pen blade is a great utility blade. I've been using this to open boxes, open packages at work. The larger blade I've been using for food prep, you know, peeling apples, cutting fruit, cutting steak. And it really does a wonderful job at doing that. But this small blade really is great for using uh, as a utility blade. One of the great things about this big handle is you can get a great handle um, and grip on this knife so really that was one of the biggest bonuses about this being so big is you've got a nice big handle to grip the other thing that i've been using a lot around the office is this flathead screwdriver combination with the bottle opener this thing is really really handy it's it's rather big okay don't uh, get me wrong it's 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 a it's a big bottle opener compared to your victorinox I mean, it's got some length to it, but it's definitely not as long as, let's say, a uh, milk knife or a Camp Knife or Camp King screwdriver on the Rough Rider Camp King, okay, the, the original. So this was definitely a bonus to get that nice screwdriver head. And then we have this nice can opener. 
Really, really great. I haven't used it yet, but it is a wonderful can opener. It's done very well. I think it's going to be a real positive use um, experience when it comes to opening a can with this nice big handle. You get a lot of grip out of it and a lot of leverage. So that'll be really, really good when I use it. So this was a very unique knife that I found on eBay. I, I feel... Sure, it's $12, but you get a lot of knife for $12. I think this is a really great knife to throw in a bag or, or even a backpack on a camping trip. And sure, it's not got the best spring tension on it. I mean, the, the spring does let this go relatively easily, but I don't think you'd be expecting it to do all of the work in the campsite. I'm pretty sure if it was me, I would just have probably a fixed blade, a Victorinox, and then this. If I lose this, I've got the Victorinox. If I lose the Victorinox, I've got this, at least something to open a can or open a bottle with. So that is the Maxim Scout Knife, I guess. I don't really know the model number on this, but I'm going to call it a Scout Knife. And that is my review of it. I have not found another one on this knife on YouTube, and I've only found a few images about this knife on Google. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and my discussion on this. And again, Knife Detector, thank you so much for your inspiration and, um, and looking for these unique and cheap knives that may be out there on the internet. So till the next video, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.